Uh, I just got done working out. Feeling good after work. Gonna watch a little Monday Night Football. Uh, I'm actually gonna go over to Beck and Alex. I gotta take back some of his tools. Um, made a green smoothie. It's banana, mango, strawberry, spirulina powder, some plant-based protein, and a raw egg. And some chia seeds. Mm. Am I talking loud? I got my headphones on. What? Huh? Doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and we'll feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and we'll feeling it right. Everybody. Well, okay, so I'm off of work. Uh, it's, a, it's like my Friday. It's Tuesday, but it's like my Friday. Um, I have the next two days off. James is going to Florida for a couple days, so I'm going to take him to the airport. He's coming over here in a few minutes. The election's tonight, but um, Trump, he's looking pretty strong right now, and that scares the out of me. Um, everything will be okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> James, you got your big boy seat there? Yeah? <laughs> oh, well, back at Native Foods Cafe, the election is scary as shit. It's just a tight race, it's very entertaining. Um, we're having a nice time. I'm having a nice time. I had to leave my phone in the car to charge it. Ah. I don't know what to do right uh, now. With yeah, well, it's okay. You so can, this is what I normally do, right? You can have here. You can have mine. <laughs> Um, your beard looks very nice. You just yeah. got your haircut? Yep. A little trim. Yeah. Very, very debonair. <laughs> James, this might be my favorite restaurant. Like, it's it's fast, it's inexpensive, consistent. it's all vegan, and it's consistent. Ooh, ooh. Yes. It's, it's just chilly. It's not bad, it's a dry and cold. Well, James, I hate goodbyes. Hope you get some good sleep there. Where Yeah, you're at the airport. You're going to Florida. Mm -hmm. Say hi to everyone for me. Hello. I'm jealous. Get your bag. It's a big bag for four days. All right, guys, so I kind of want to just film my reaction a little bit to the election last night. Yeah, I just needed to simmer down a little bit and, I don't know, kind of let everything process. I do remember having a really tough time falling asleep last night. I guess... I just, I don't know, I just felt worried for my country and embarrassed too. It just really hadn't sunk in totally. You know, I'm generally an optimist and I like to, I don't know, see the positive in everything. And I also like to think that maybe this is like right where we need to be for a reason. But it's a tough pill to swallow for sure. Um, you know, I don't like to get into who's right, who's wrong, this and that. Everybody has their opinions and I respect that. But, you know, when I'm talking to my mom last night and she's like genuinely upset about it, um, texting me that she's crying, you know, and her as a, as a uh, lesbian um, who is engaged and looking to get married in June, she's very worried about the direction of where our country's going with the policies uh, on the ticket for the Trump ticket. Um, if you look at the Vice President Mike Pence's policies in Indiana as the governor, uh, it's very scary stuff, basically giving the right to discriminate against homosexuals and also um, punishing them for getting married. So, you know, in her mind, she's very concerned um, and, you know, with the appointment of the Supreme Court justices and stuff like that during Trump's tenure um, or presidency is a little scary, uh, knowing what they're some of their agenda is, uh, you know, there's some things that Trump has said that I agree with, you know, the trade policies, um, you know, draining this quote unquote swamp is part of what the Bernie campaign was about. Um, the problem I see with it is that on that side, it's been less government, less government, government's bad, and they defund a lot of the government programs that are put in place to keep corporations in check. And so really I think that this draining the swamp, um, getting money out of politics uh, portion of the Trump uh, supporters, I feel in my mind is a little bit misplaced because I feel like the Fox is kind of ruling the hen house with him being a billionaire and tied to businesses and corporate, and corporate America. My concern is that 
in the next four years, they're going to deregulate a lot of the the government programs and let the corporations self watch each other, which has not been a very successful thing, especially for our environment and for consumers like you and I. Um, there's two things that protect us from from corporations, and that is the unions and government. And on that side, they are completely against those two things. Um, not completely, but a big portion of it. And I get unions, they've grown into something that isn't what most people want, and they definitely need to be changed, and I understand that. But there also isn't good in that. They give us the 40-hour work week, weekends off. The right for us to form a, a union um, to protect us against corporations, I think, is something that's very critical and very American. Um, so there's some things that uh, I'm concerned. Those are probably kind of the tip of the iceberg, not to mention uh, climate change. You know, I think that the whole Paris uh, climate change treaty thing that um, had been put in place is going to be reversed, and we're going to take some step backwards uh, in in that um, direction and away from you know moving towards uh, renewable energy and and things like that. So definitely some concerns. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of going through all of the the different levels of you know. First, it was like disbelief, shock, anger, uh, sadness. I'm going through the phases, and I'm going to get to the acceptance part. And if you are a Trump supporter, I do apologize for this one-sided view. I think I kind of apologize, uh, but I'm just saying how I feel, and this is me. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have to watch me anymore if you don't want to, that's all right. I, I understand completely. I don't want all my audience to be one-sided. I want a mixture of, of people out there. I also don't want a whole Trump bashing me versus you thing in the comments or anything like that. Um, but I do also agree that people should be able to voice their opinions and it's a free country. So also if you're from a different country and you're watching this, uh, I wouldn't mind getting your opinion on what you think of America and the direction that we're going in and what other people in your country are kind of thinking and saying about us electing Trump because that's a perspective that I can't just step out my door and get. So I don't know, so I'm going to film a little bit more. Alex and I are going to go to the to the furniture store. I got to pick up some bar stools. My rug has came in, so I'm going to get that filled up. I got a lot of my clothes put away. Um, I got to get my artwork, start getting that up. I wanted to get the rug in here and kind of get a feel of how it's going to look in here. So Alex is, and Becca are going to Thailand. He needs some shorts uh, and some maybe some clothes to wear while he's there. So he's going to come pick some stuff out. And then I'm kind of getting things together a little bit. My my shoes and everything's kind of getting together. I finally got a dirty clothes hamper. Got a few more things to put away. More of my clothes hung up. Got to want to get this up top area cleaned up a little bit. But it's coming together, guys. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm enjoying my day off. I slept in. Um, but I woke up this morning definitely uh, kind of like, oh crap, Trump's president. <laughs> uh, so if you can relate, let me know. Um, but let's keep moving forward, guys. So I'm going to film a little bit more tonight and and uh, wrap this vlog up. Sorry for the long rant, but I just felt like I needed to um, explain how I felt. Alex, looking classy. Got my blues, the pinks. Yeah. The dark blues. You're going to pull those salmon colored shorts oh, yeah. off in Thailand. Absolutely. You're going to love it out there. My white legs will look glorious. <laughs> they might actually start a trend in Thailand <laughs> where everybody's going to be wearing salmon colored shorts. <laughs> Bar stools are intact in the back seat. We're here at Target now. Alex is. Let's let's be honest. What did you do, Alex? You you're renting. Alex rented this suitcase <laughs> for his trip to the for the Check wedding, out. and uh, now he's about to return it here. Hopefully, cross your fingers. It looks like it hasn't been used at all. It's beautiful. It does. I would buy that if they put it back on the shelf. Wait, you just you just hit a button, or uh -oh. oh yeah. Smarter than the car, though. Yeah, I know. It's a nice car. Real nice. All right, so the bar stools are in. Um, this chair came from the storage for our from our apartment complex. Um, the leg broke, and I was trying to super glue it back in, but it's it's not gonna work. But I still have it there for to look good, I guess. Got my rug in. Looks pretty good. I uh, got this piece of artwork here, and then you probably recognize that from my old place. You know, kind of mixy matchy, but whatever. That's what I got. And then 
I have that in the old kitchen area here. And I'm gonna hang up these two, I don't know, somewhere in this in the bedroom here. Oh yeah, look at my closet. It's all it's all purtified. It's so purty in here. I got a lot of clothes. I got rid of some too, that's the sad part. So yeah, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna do like kind of a grand tour. Once I get all the pictures up and everything like that, I'll, I'll do like a little tour. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I'm doing a single man's. Um, I got some organic Amy's Spanish red bean rice. Gotta throw that in there after I heat it up. Got some eggs boiling, some organic eggs. I'm gonna throw one of those boiled eggs in there too. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a nice little single man's dinner. You know what I'm saying? So for now, I'm sending positive vibes your way, guys. I love ya. Um, you know, I got all that stuff off my chest earlier. I apologize if I offended anybody. Um, but I just wanted to get it out there. Kind of give you my reaction for what it's worth. Take it or leave it. <laughs> so anyways, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.